Hey guys, Brent Hole Wednesday design video, talking about cabinets, talking about an office a client wants to elevate. How do we do that? Come join me, let me know what you think. Okay, so looking at this, these cabinets and you know, kind of how I'm proposing we fix these, basically cabinets today end up being all the same. You buy the parts and the pieces and it ends up being matchy matchy, exact same. And if you look at the historic precedent, it's, it's much richer than what we're building today. So if I, for instance, went to the Victorian Albert Museum, this is a Robert Adam piece, right? It's a bookcase. Notice that the, the there's carving at this base. It goes up. These doors, they're not panel doors. They're, they're veneered doors. You've got these wonderful pilasters which have carving in them. There's carving at the top. It's a pediment. You know, it's it breaks front, right? The, it kind of steps back a couple times. And so that's a, a really nice, you know, piece of furniture. This, you go over to France, bookcase that they have at Versailles. Notice that, that the, the panel mold is kind of gold leaf. Notice Notice there's a screen and a, a door kind of detail over over top of the the books to kind of protect them and the way it's kind of organized and put together so what we're going to do is we're going to lift up this elevate this its quality and there's a number of ways to do that one we can you know really build out a better foot better piece under here there'll be a desk in front of here and so i put drawers behind here but i've, I've really elevated this by putting a pediment into this deal. You'll notice that essentially what's that, what they've done here is they've got the, the column and, the, and this is your entablature here. I, I don't like the proportion of this crown to that to that face there. And so what I've done is I've dropped, I've, I've lifted this up and you can see the shadow behind that I've got a, a cornice in here. And really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the uh, the parts and pieces, right? And I've really elevated the, the leg here. Um, and, but there's some fun things to do with the cornice. Now, the cornice that we currently have is is one big crown and and then this this flat piece that goes down. And the, the proportion of this to this is about one to one. And so what I wanna do is I wanna make the moldings more appropriate for a cabinet so this this you know crown right there that they've got is probably you know three inches maybe three and a half and so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to break up that proportion so that i've got a very small crown right i've got a corona i've got a soffit and then i've got a bed mold underneath here right so that i, I break up that same space with three moldings instead of one, and these are more appropriate to the scale of a piece of cabinetry. So you see that I've done the same thing here with the with the modillion, but I've got the top of my capital, got an architrave, frieze, and then this, this decorative cornice. And so I'm elevating this piece with moldings. With, with the pediment that I've done here, I'm bringing this piece out so that it sits out in front. I've got the engaged columns behind, so I've got some nice shadow lines happening here. I've got some pediment. I've lifted up this cabinet with moldings maybe six or eight inches. I haven't gone to the ceiling. You can see that based on this, I'm, I'm maybe going up to the bottom of that frieze that runs around this room. Not sure that frieze is even original, but I'm playing with moldings in here. I put a wire mesh screen in front of the doors in case they wanted to elevate that. I didn't do that on this side, but, but I'm just kind of showing them just variations of how this can look but I've elevated this. I've also put a small bookcase on this other side so that this can even out. Cause right now this is, you know, maybe, you know, four feet and this is almost six feet. And if I can bring a bookcase over in here, then visually this pushes everything over so that it, so that it looks uh, a little bit more even. You'll notice too that I've increased the size of these pilasters and these are even bigger than those. And so that there's a hierarchy here, but really subtly playing with the parts and pieces. And if you look at it, the separation between the cabinets here, okay, that never would have been done with just kind of a simple, you know, piece of plywood. It would have been much more decorative. And so I've got a little mini column here. And again, you're gonna see this hierarchy of columns. Same thing happens on the, you know, other side, because currently the piece is not very, it's not organized, right? One, we've got four, four bays, okay? The problem with four is that my eye rests right there in the middle, okay? And so what you see me playing with up here is breaking this out into fives, okay? Into five sections, two, three, four, five, so that it, it balances a little bit more. And so what I've done is 
I've got the strong pilasters on the outside, the, the skinnier ones on the inside, and then these are almost invisible here, but I've got a one, you know, one, two, three, one, one, and then two, this bigger piece in the middle, helping this eye balance, helping this side. Obviously it's subordinate to the main one, right? We've got the pediment over here on this side, but certainly it balances better than this. And so, you know, you can see it in here, They've got this center pilaster with the with the pilasters below, but it it, it just kind of looks wonky, okay? And then the last thing, and I told the homeowner this, he kind of laughed at me, but you know, if you look at the typical fluted pilaster that's available kind of off the shelf, okay? And let's say that these here are, let's say they're four inches wide. Well, so what they'll do is, if it's, this is four inches wide, they will run fluting, fluting, and you know, kind of three in here. The relationship of this <laughs> flute to the, to the shoulder is about one to one, okay? And if you look at traditional columns, the, the flute, as it comes around, is about a one to three, one to four relationship. And so, you know, the, the, the shoulder here to the overall size of the, of the fluting is a better proportion. And so one reason why we don't want to use just kind of off the shelf fluting is because it looks goofy and it, it's kind of clunky, whereas the traditional stuff is much more graceful and pretty. And so changing a few things, you know, fixing the proportions, playing with hierarchy, I think helps this thing. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, better, right? Elevated materials, playing with hierarchy between parts and pieces, giving it that traditional feel by really removing these stickers that production cabinet companies oftentimes put on their cabinets and treating it more like furniture. It means elevating the number of the parts and pieces. Certainly a well-crafted pediment was really do that, changing the size of those moldings. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.